What's good, YouTube? Car if I can't hear Aqua Life, baby. You already know how it is. Um, so today, guys, I want to just bring you guys my uh, first uh, tournament report for our. I guess it was our first official um, Digimon TTG tournament that we had at locals today. Um, you know, one where we had actual prize support and whatnot. So. Um, I took the, and you know, as you see in the background, my boy, uh, I decided to take my Beelzemon Turbo build, uh, today, the one that you guys saw, um, that I deck profiled, uh, previously. Um, I really, you know, purple is a color that, um, you know, really is the color where you're, like, always, you know, opening, fanning out your build, uh, you know, taking it apart, putting it back together, really kind of just piecing it and making a lot of different changes here and there. Like, it's such a deep color to explore um, and react to different situations and whatnot. Um, you know, trying to find a really good, smooth, streamlined build, um, which is pretty hard to do. And, I, you know, again, I, I appreciate it in this game where it's really, you know, you know, kind of hard to do. You kind of find a core that you like and you kind of build around that in a way. Um... But decided I want to take purple today, uh, Beals my Turbo, and uh, see how we did in our uh, first fish tournament. It's my favorite color, and I was like, "Well, this is gonna be the first one. Hey, let's let's get it in, right?" Um, so I ended up taking first place overall today. Um, you know, with it, so uh, the bill worked out to a degree. Um. Going over my matchups, round one, I had a purple mirror match. We actually tied uh, game one. Um, I, I lost game one because, uh, one, I didn't really see my megas. They were either in security or at the, towards the bottom of my deck. Uh, two, I misplayed with Matt. I should have dropped Matt so much earlier in the match, but I just kept, you know, holding Matt in my hand and I kept drawing into my mats and then I never really played them out to, you know, and I had a Piedmon in the trash. Uh, but I just was like kind of like going back and forth with Chimeramon, Trump Sword, things like that, and not really like, you know, just dropping the mat um, so I can put my. Uh, you know, set my memory to three, but I could have grabbed that Piedmon out of the trash, and then I could have slammed Piedmon down after I gained some type of advantage, um, and then just had a board that my opponent needed to respond to. So it, it just was, um, for me, I just didn't really play Piedmon correctly, or play, you know, Matt correctly in that situation. I think that that ultimately uh, kind of cost me and kept me behind for that round one loss uh, round two round two you know was, you know you know I corrected my misplays I was able to get my mat out um, be, you know Beelzeman was come you know was turboing out Beelzeman um, and we were you know hitting security and um, Millennium Mon was putting in a lot of work too so it was uh that one went a lot better and then round three round three we ended up tying um, a lot of back and forth a lot of uh you know trading Chimera Mons um, Trading Chimera Mons, trading Trump Swords uh, into bigger, you know, into bigger threats. Uh, just a lot of trading winning, you know, that went on. Um, I should have been, I definitely should have been more aggressive in hitting his security with my rookies. Uh, but I didn't really see Night Raid until, you know, a little bit later in the game than I wanted to. Uh, and I, um, I felt like if I had seen my Night Raid a little bit earlier or more often then. Uh, I would have had more of a chance to assault his security, um, you know, and kind of put myself in a better position. But um, other that, that's otherwise, it was just a bunch of trading, and then we end up tying. Uh, round two, I played against Blue Omni. Uh, I won that matchup 2-0. Um, it was my boy playing my Blue Omni deck, actually. Um, he really, really, bo um, both games uh, were kind of the same story. Uh, he kept drawing into way too many Omnimons way too early at the start of the game. So that really hurt a lot of what his tempo was able to do. Um, I saw my Heat Vipers was able to clear off his blockers and level 4s on the board. Um, that would protect his security, and then I would kind of just, you know, run at him with Impmon and Tapirmon, um, you know, and, uh, he, the one time he did, he did get to Omni, uh, I was able to turbo out Impmon into a, Impmon into a Beelzemon, uh, Impmon off the Night Raid, Beelzemon, uh, got rid of a blocker, then went into a, uh, went into a Millennium Mon to, to get rid of the Omnimon, um, but that was that. Uh, but no, he really a lot of it was just him breaking, um, with you know just drawing too many Omni Mons. He said my deck hates him. I think it does hate him. Um, 
And then last final round, I played against uh, the you know you guys know him from the channel all the time, the infamous Black Steve. Uh, that was a pretty. It was a pretty. I think it was a pretty good three game set. Um, he didn't. He was a. Uh, he started off both uh, like all three matches pretty slow. Um, game one and game three, he really started off like super slow. Uh, was forced to you know kind of like drop like some high cost cards, and give me a lot of memory to work with, and um, you know I was thinking to myself, yeah, I could play around Volcanic Dramon here and there, but. Uh, you know, gave pretty much, um, you know, was able to get my rookies on the board, slam to a security, turbo to Beelzebub, you know, uh, do what I need to do there. Game two, I lost because I literally just gave his Volcanic Dramon way too much value by, uh, stuffing my board full of, you know, full of rookies and them getting all wiped by Volcanic Dramon. Um, and then I had to respond to that with a high cost card. And it's just, it was just an unnecessary back and forth that I created for myself for that. Um, uh, otherwise, um, you know, game three, I was able to stick Millennium on, on the board and, uh, you know, he, you know, it was one of those things where he had, he has a hard time removing the, um, the Millennium on, um, and I was able to just, uh, secure the game from that point on. But again, like I say, he did start off the game pretty slow, um, you know, and, uh, that kind of set him back a little bit, but game two, I really kind of just threw away because, I just gave his Volcanic Dramon too much value um, early on. Uh, but that would be, that was it. Uh, and it, again, I ended up, I won that, I won that matchup 2-1. Uh, I got first place overall, so pretty good. Um, there are a few changes I did want to make to the, to the deck uh, that I've been really thinking about. One is really adding in a fourth copy of Night Raid. Um, Night Raid, I just found out to be, I just find to be like the best card in purple. Um, you know, I know people run, you know, three or two, but like, like the way that my, you know, you know, at least the way I feel like my deck is configured, which is to be able to get up Beelzebub early and often, um, and just, you know, toss out Impmon's whatnot, being able to just go Night Raid into Impmon, Impmon straight into Warp Digivolve straight into a Beelzebub is, you know, it's just money right there. Um, even just going into Beelzebub, even if you're not destroying anything, just to put a pre just to put his presence on board mm -hmm. and threaten the Millennium on next turn, I think it's just amazing. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, just being able to hit that, you know, you get to get a Tapirmon onto the board, you know, something that, you know, other board presence. It's just, overall, I think it's just really the best purple option card, and I'm going to definitely experiment with, uh, putting four copies of that card in my deck now, because I, there are a lot of times during the tournament where I really wish I saw it earlier rather than later. Um, uh, another card I'm going to probably add in is a third copy of Millennium Mon. Um, again, he's kind of like the black and purple's Omni Mon, and uh, he's really a card that you definitely want to see m more often than not. Um, so, you know, and, and you know, with the way the deck functions, and you know, at least at least the concept of it is, uh, we can pretty we can get to Millennium Mon pretty quickly. Uh, so, um, you know, I, I'm definitely going to look at, you know, experimenting with three copies of him again. Um, Piedmont worked out very, very well. Uh, the, uh, Metal Guru Mon, I think I want to cut him down to just one copy in the deck. Um, he's a great card if he sticks onto the board, but a lot of times I was finding, like, he was kind of like a dead card in hand and he really wasn't doing too much for me at certain points. Um, especially if I end up drawing two of him. So I was thinking about, you know, just cutting him down, uh, keeping probably keeping Pied at two, maybe increasing Pied to three, mm -hmm. um, but cutting down Metal Guru Mon to one and, you know, putting in like another Myotis Mon or, you know, making that the fourth Night Raid, something like that. So uh, I'm going to play around with my ratios a bit uh, later on, you know, throughout this week. But um, those are just a few things that I had... Uh, that I had noticed uh, with the deck, um, but overall pretty good. Glad we finished in first place for uh, the first official Digimon TCG tournament that we've had, um, and I look forward to hopefully topping and doing well uh, at more uh, as our community grows and as more tournaments come along. Um, but this car fight king, Aqua Life baby, you already know how it is. Uh, Beelzebub Turbo, <laughs> let's get it, baby. <laughs> we out.